me you have to have. Here, pop your head in there. Here, pop your head in there. <laughs> okay. The CDC reports that every day more than eight people are killed and 1,161 are injured in crashes that are related to distracted driving. But did you know that distracted driving doesn't only refer to texting while driving or talking on your cell phone? We've all heard about the tragic accidents with texting and driving, but what we don't hear about are those that are due to things such as controlling your radio or your mirrors or eating or drinking, talking to other passengers in your vehicle. Now, I've personally never been uh, directly affected by a distracted driver, but I do know someone who was. Her younger sibling was actually killed by a distracted driver when the other driver reached down to pick up a CD that they had dropped. They swerved left of center and they hit her head on. It could have been you or a family member or someone else you care about that was actually killed by that vehicle. So today I'd like to talk to you about how I believe that the lawmakers and the law enforcement should have more power to act on those drivers who are distracted what you can do to avoid becoming one of the distracted drivers. So let's discuss some of the things that cause drivers to become distracted. The majority of distracted driving can be attributed, attributed to cognitive distractions, which is daydreaming. 62% of accidents caused by distraction is simply people who are daydreaming. You lose focus on the road. So the Claims Journal Magazine reports that Although it's the leader with 62%, 12% of the stack distracted driving is due to cell phone uses, such as talking, texting, listening, or dialing. It may not surprise you to find those statistics, but it may surprise you to find, may surprise you to know, 5% of distracted drivers state they were distracted by someone else in the car, someone that they were talking to. The other 2% were distracted by controlling the radio or their windows, their locks, that type of thing. The lowest percentage at 1% is caused by things such as moving objects in your car, your pet, those types of things. Now that we know what distracts drivers, let's discuss what can be done to prevent some of those things. Laws are already in place to prevent you from texting and driving or talking on your phone in some states, unless it's a hands-free device. But only two states have no ban whatsoever, and two only ban it for novice drivers. <clears throat> Another way to enforce no cell phone law would be through car manufacturers. If manufacturers came up with a way to stop the use of cell phones while you're in a vehicle, it, a signal blocker, so to speak, so when you started your car, your phone wouldn't work. That would stop a lot of accidents from occurring. When it comes to the other forms of distracted driving, we have no laws in place that prohib prohibit drivers from doing things that can cause an accident. I think laws need to be put into place to stop you from eating and drinking and doing other things that still cause you to lose focus on the road. What we need to do, write letters to your lawmakers, let them know that you also think that we need stricter laws. In 2007, CBS News reported on an article in Vermont which was considering a law to prohibit eating, drinking, smoking, reading, writing, personal grooming, playing an instrument, any of those types of things you could no longer do in your car. The law didn't pass because it lacked support from the people who voted, and we need to make sure we support these things so that people can be saved from those drivers who are distracted by those things. So today we discuss many things that cause a driver to become distracted. What we can do as a country, we need to support our lawmakers. We need to get out and vote and make sure that we let them know that we too believe that we need some stricter laws. You or a family member could easily be the victim of one of those drivers who are distracted by somebody eating a cheeseburger or drinking a soda. So today I'd like to finish by saying that we need to remember that police officers can only do so much if the laws aren't put into place. But they need to have the authority to go out and when they see the drivers who are eating and drinking and, and looking away from the road, they need to be able to stop those drivers and pull them over. By avoiding a lot of the physical distractions, such as the drinking of a soda, the eating of a cheeseburger, someone's life could be saved. <laughs>